I mean, basically, I distinguish between two kinds of, of uh, regimes. Uh, one uh, we, we, where the uh, uh, elected uh, leaders are supposed to uh, protect the uh, uh, individual freedom. Uh, that's what I call open society. And the other, where the rulers uh, are using all the levers of power that they control uh, to maintain themselves in power and to enrich themselves uh, personally. And that's, you call it closer society, uh, but more appropriately, you should call the, the dictatorship or yeah, authoritarian uh, uh, authoritarian uh, regimes. Yes. And I know we've had conversations, and in, uh, in just the past year, you gave a very passionate speech at Davos about the role of technology and technological monopolies, and the danger that they will help the authoritarian control be yeah. centralized and strengthened. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's. Uh, what is now uh, posing an unprecedented uh, threat uh, to uh, open society gl globally mm -hmm. uh, be because the techniques of AI uh, are designed or are more suitable uh, to uh, control, to ex exercise control over the behavior of, of the individuals, uh, uh, then that is a problem for open society that needs to be controlled. Uh, also the rise of uh, uh, big tech uh, monopolies. So both monopolies and the development of AI are c combined uh, they are threats to yes. open society, and they are uh, 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 technological uh, uh, devices to uh, improve the, the, the ability of uh, dictatorships to, to control uh, the individuals under their rule. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this respect, the Xi Jinping's uh, China uh, threatens uh, is a, uh, a tremendous threat uh, to the uh, uh, to open society. Uh, fortunately, there is resistance within the Chinese people to the rise of Xi Jinping, mm -hmm. and this is not well known. Uh, to the general public, but he actually uh, uh, was rebuffed at, at the Baidu conference this summer, mm -hmm. and the uh, the uh, retired leaders uh, like Zhu Rongji and so on are, have still a lot of. Uh, uh, Respect, and there is also a, a tradition in the uh, the uh, uh, history of the Chinese empires that the the advisors of the emperor should actu actually actually uh, uh, voice their opposition, even if it means that that they are going to be killed. Mm. So. There was this resistance, and he's been taken down a peg, uh, and uh, apparently there is a, a real a strong desire among the Chinese people to resist Xi Jinping. So, uh, since uh, democracy can't be imposed from the outside. We really have to find ways to support the Chinese people in asserting their uh, devotion 
uh, to a democracy.